welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about my year-end favorites. So basically all the makeup products that I love throughout the year of 2017. And products that I've been using a lot or just have been loving in general. So yeah, if you guys want to see all those items, then just keep on watching. The first item I want to talk about is the Etude House Drawing Eyebrow. It's like a pencil with a spoolie on the other end. That's what it looks like. There's a spoolie. And then, it's what the pen looks like. This is really, really easy to use and it's very pigmented. I definitely prefer this over my dip brow um, pomade from Anastasia. I thought I would like that a lot because it stays on longer and all. This doesn't stay on that long, that's the only downside to it. But it's creamy enough, but it's not too creamy that it'll slip and slide um, on your brows and all that. I really love this product. Super recommend this. The next product that I want to talk about is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. This is for normal to oily skin. This is in the shade 128 Warm Nude, which is a little bit too dark for me. Just a bit, like I could go a shade lighter. I love how this wears throughout the day. I love how it applies. I love the coverage. It's not full coverage, but it's but it's definitely buildable. It's really affordable. It's like $8. Next, I want to talk about the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I absolutely love this concealer. It's so good. It's like $6, I'm pretty sure. And this is in the shade Light 20. I also have the one in medium 30, but that's too dark. Again, this is really affordable. It's so good. It covers really well. It's definitely full coverage. The only thing that I don't like about it is that it does crease. I can't put it here on the sides of my nose or... Um, I have to set it right away if I put it under my eyes, so that's the downside to it, but I mean, I really love this concealer, really, really good. Next, I actually want to talk about two mascaras, and I know that mascara, some people just don't find a difference in mascaras, but I definitely do. So the two things that I want to talk about are both from Maybelline. This is the Maybelline Lashinista and the Maybelline... Rocket Volume Express. I've loved this mascara for so long. The reason that I tried it out is actually because my best friend Jamie um, gave it to me as a Christmas gift like a few years ago or like four years ago, I'm not sure. But I've loved it ever since. And lately, I've been using the Maybelline Lashinista because I got this in 2017 and this is what I've been using. But then, I don't know why, I just started using this again and I completely fell in love with how this worked. And I don't know, I like both of them, but I think I prefer this. But I'm including this one because I definitely use it a lot in 2017. The next item, the next item that I really loved is the Rimmel London Stay Matte um, Long Lasting Pressed Powder. This is in the shade Transparent. This one was five, six dollars, something like that if I'm not mistaken. This is a really good powder. It does keep you mad. Um, I wouldn't say it keeps you mad throughout the whole day. I'm not sure how many hours, but I just really loved how it wore and how it kept my face pretty matte. It's really, really soft and feels really nice in the skin. So yeah, I've been using this a lot. The next thing is actually a brush. This is the Morphe E46. Um, I always use this. I use this for powder and I use this for concealer. I actually want to get another one just because I use it both for powder and concealer and I don't like using one brush for the two things because you know it's cream and it's powder. But this brush is so soft. This is from the Elite line, so E46, and it just fits really nice under my eyes. I love it. It's so satisfying to set under my eyes and to blend out concealer. Such a good brush. Super, super good brush. The next favorite is actually the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, this has a lot of controversy surrounding it, but honestly, just as makeup, I love it so much. The colors are so beautiful. It's a really, really, really good formula. It blends out really beautifully and the shimmers are nice and intense. There's just one shade that I don't like. I actually reviewed this palette. I'll link it down below as well, but I didn't like twerk this shade right here. But I tried wiping it with a baby wipe just to get the top layer off and it's a little bit better, but it's just not as intense as I see on swatches or as I see it in other people's videos. So I think that when it comes to that shade in my palette specifically, it's kind of a like a dud. The next thing I want to talk about is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Sequin. This is what it looks like. The label actually came off. Um, that's the only thing that I don't like about ColourPop is that their labels come off really, really easily, like on the Super Shock Shadows and on the liquid lipsticks. 
but honestly you're paying six or five dollars for this product so you can't really complain and it's not a big deal honestly next product i really loved is the essence cream highlighter i didn't expect for this to be a favorite really affordable and you get a lot of product in it for something so affordable it's 0.22 ounces inside and yeah just i really really love this highlighter next is the becca shimmering skin perfector in champagne pop this is in the limited edition packaging and I'm really happy about it because it's so pretty, it's gold and the normal one is like a grayish or an almost black um, kind of packaging but this just looks so classy and elegant and I love it so much. It's really intense, it looks great on the cheeks, that's what I'm wearing right now. I don't know if you can see it. I've just really been loving gold highlighter and this is just the perfect highlighter for me. So much love for this. The last three products are all lip products but I do want to show them individually. This first one that I'm going to show is the Colourpop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Strip. Um, it's just a nice warm nude. It's perfect for me because I don't like really mauve or really pink or too beigey nudes. I feel like this just complements my skin tone really well and I can't stop using this. I especially love that it's in the Ultra Satin formula. I used to love the Ultra Mattes from Colourpop but I find that the Ultra Satins are just a lot, lot better. And yeah, it's a really good shade and a really good lipstick. The next lipstick I'm going to talk about is again from Colourpop. This is the Alexa Seren collaboration. This is an Ultra Satin lip again and it's in the shade Bare Necessities. It came in a special packaging. I actually used to hate pink lipsticks on me, but this just changed my mind. It's just a beautiful, warm, rosy pink. I feel like I just need warm pinks because I've been trying like, cool tone pinks. And this is just the perfect option for me. I love wearing this with sequin on the eyes. Super, super beautiful, really lovely on the face. The last item that I want to show you guys is the MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Feel So Grand. This is a matte liquid lipstick and um, I bought this in New York when I went last year, so in 2016. I bought this when not every brand came out with liquid lipsticks yet, so liquid lipsticks was just kind of starting, I think. I'm not sure, but I just... I don't know why, I just researched on this really well and I bought it with my own money and all and I was just so excited because... It's a red lipstick and before when I bought it, I wasn't into makeup the way I am now. I didn't know how to do eyeshadow, I didn't know how to do foundation, concealer, anything. But I would always wear red lipstick. It's It was my thing, it still is my thing and I don't know, this is just really sentimental to me. I finished up one, um, one tube of this already so this is my second one but I still have it around because that was the first one that I bought. But yeah, really random, irrelevant story but... That's just why I love this lipstick so much. But yeah guys, that's it for my year end favorites. Those are just the things that I really enjoyed and really loved throughout 2017. And I'm definitely gonna be I'm definitely gonna keep on using them throughout 2018 as well. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and a comment down below. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It means so much to me. And thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in my next videos. And yeah, bye guys. Merry Christmas.